Hey guys, welcome to another update. Just wanted to give a huge thanks for all the support I'm currently getting on this project. It's pretty awesome. And I have a ton to cover in this video, so we're just going to get right into it. So first things first, I take care of the crosshair. So when a ranged weapon is equipped, you can get an idea of the bullet spread um, based off of the crosshair. It is relative to the speed of the player and the current start, so crouching gives you a smaller spread than standing, and walking gives you an even bigger spread, um, as well as like jumping and sprinting, because it's based off of the movement speed of the player. Um, so this is actually quite a modular setup I've gone for, so I can actually adjust this depending on the weapon itself as well. Um, so it is based off of a variable that's currently acting as the spread, but obviously we don't have shooting yet, so <laughs> uh, there isn't a way I can show you that just yet. I then moved on to being able to pick up items, which also led me on to do this neat little UI notification system you can see in the top left when I pick up an item. And also this little pile of goodies, which is basically just, um, it isn't what it says on the tin, as you can see they're all, well, most of them are red squares. Um, but when you hover over it, you can get an idea of, it's all my developer items. Um, so all the items I'm using to test. The notification system for when I pick up an item can be used for pretty much anything. Uh, as you can see, it, it drops in top left and then fades away when it's done. There is a maximum of four items, but it also kind of just works off of a queue. So you can just queue up as many as you want. And it'll just display them one after the other. All right, so moving on to dropping an item. Uh, very simple for items that can't bundle, as it just takes it out of the inventory and spawns an object in real time. Um, but what I mean by bundle is basically the ability to stack in the real world. Uh, so like bullets can be the same object. Um, but things like clipboards would look kind of funny if they stacked in the world space. Um, so let me show you what I mean. Uh, so I've currently picked up everything. Uh, so you see if I drop my baseball bat, um, it just spawns in front of me. And if I go to drop, say for example, my bobby pins, if I go to drop that now, you'll see I'm, I've implemented a little quantity menu. Um, so basically this item can bundle when I drop it. So if I drop all four of them, you see if I look over it, uh, you can see they've kind of stacked in the real world as well. Um, the reason why this is, is so if I drop my clipboard um, after I get multiple, so let me just go up to here and grab another clipboard. So if I go to drop my clipboard now, you'll see it actually just spawns the real world items because it would look a bit weird if there was one clipboard and you picked up three, for example. So the actual menu itself um, it's very simple to use. I can use A and D to obviously increase and decrease the value for controller or if you just want to use your keyboard. Um, obviously we have the quick users along here, so we have min and max. Uh, these are also all buttons, so you can click them if you want. Um, so yeah, nice and simple, um, but definitely needed. And of course this is just a slider, so you can click and drag it if you want, which is pretty awesome. So after implementing all the dropping and the bundling, uh, what I really wanted to work on was something uh, to do with the actual player controller. Uh, just to make it a little bit more fluid, uh, a little bit better gameplay, so quicker movement, etc. And after playing some Call of Duty, I thought it'll be quite cool to add a tactical sprint. Um, so where the movement speed is increased at the cost of a longer sprint, um, a longer sprint to fire time and increased stamina usage, uh, you can now double tap shift and you can do a little tactical sprint. So obviously it uses a little bit more stamina um, than the normal sprint, but you do move a little bit quicker. Um, and also because your gun is raised, it takes longer to get it to the position where you can fire. So it's kind of like a little fall off there. Um, so it's all attached to a boolean, so if I want to disable it later on I can, but I thought it would be quite fun to work on regardless. So I then thought for combat, a tactical sprint would also be pretty awesome. Um, so I then also went ahead and started playing around. and. Uh, after changing this controller a bit, because this was a little bit trickier to implement with my current setup, um, I managed to implement the tactical slide, which personally I think looks awesome. And I can't wait till I have combat implemented so I can actually see it um, in action. Also, for later use in the stealth system, I also implemented proning. Uh, so this was basically just adjusting the crouching system to allow for the user to hold the button down and they can lay down. So very simple, and obviously the movement speed is heavily affected. Um, as well as the mouse sensitivity a little. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it's working very well. Um, and obviously if you're laying down and start to sprint, it gets up real quick. So if you need to get out of a tricky situation. Um, so that'll come more into play when I actually start working on a stealth system and enemy detection. Um, but again, that's also just hooked up to a boolean. So if I want to turn that off, if I don't feel like it fits in later, I can. 
Right, so after playing around a bit, I figured it's probably time to get back on track and continue the stuff I'm actually supposed to be doing, as opposed to just trying to implement stuff from some of my favorite video games. Um, so basically, I then started working on the actual transfer system. So you know you can look at uh, one of the storage containers, um, and basically you can take items from here. But then you can also see if I press E, we then open up the transfer menu, and boy, this takes some time to build. <laughs> but to be honest, I love the way it came out. The User interface is nice and clean and very easy to use. So you've got my inventory on the left and the container you're interacting with on the right. Uh, so in the middle, you've obviously just got the item stats of the currently selected item. And this little square here is for the 3D preview, which we'll implement at a later date. Uh, all these stats are actually hooked up. So this little number, the six weight here, is actually the sum of all the items inside this. Um, so if you wanted to hit the take all, you can kind of see how much extra weight you're going to be taking on. Um, and then obviously this is my currency and this is my current weight. So all looking good. Um, obviously you've got your categories along here at the top. Uh, so if we go through these categories, obviously we've just got junk and apparel and my weapon. So as we go through, you can see a lot of these screens are actually quite empty because we don't have much on our character. Um, but yeah, so some nice simple things to move across. Obviously you have your little buttons here. Um, so if you're on a controller, you can hit the take button, uh, which is currently mapped to space for keyboard. Uh, so if I hit space, we can take that clipboard. Um, so nice and simple. You can also double click to move real quick. Um, and also you can use A and D to obviously go between the two menus. Uh, so obviously these menus can get quite big. Um, so there is scroll implemented the same as the scroll you've seen here previously. Um, so each category has their own scroll saved. Um, so if I scroll this menu a little bit, go to weapons and then come back to inventory, it'll remember where I've scrolled and obviously remember which items I've picked. So you see if I pick damage slacks, go to a completely different category, even select a completely different item. If I go back to inventory, you see that item saved for this category. Um, so it's kind of nice and persistent, which makes it nice when you're moving around because I spawned in a ton of objects here and had to play around and uh, it felt quite nice to use. All right, so I managed to get the stacked items done. So I actually put a limit of four items. Um, so if you've got uh, four items, it should still show the little quantity menu. So if I try to transfer this, as you can see, it's the quantity menu that we use inside the inventory. Um, so it just uses this for the transfer as well. If I transfer one of these, you can see um, if I then try to transfer again, instead of showing the pop up because there's only three, it'll just transfer one at a time. So um, unless there's a big stack, it won't bother to ask you, it'll just do its thing. Uh, so yeah, the take all button works, the store all junk button works. Um, and also, which is a neat little touch, is these labels actually change depending on what category you're on. Uh, just to uh, make it a little bit more obvious. Uh, so yeah, nice little touches like that, I think just help set the, set the theme I'm trying to go for. Uh, also, these buttons at the bottom are, are quite dynamic. So if you've got no junk, it won't show the store junk. So if I store all my junk now, you can see the button kind of just disappears as well as if I click take all and then I go back into it, you can see there's no items here. So it's not even showing the take all button. So after seeing the way this UI turned out, I kind of actually want to redo this UI because um, after having a look at even this quick looting UI and then actually this UI actually looks a lot better than the inventory one. Um, so this one looks like it's been kind of left behind <laughs> while I've been doing the others. So what I'm actually going to try and do is implement a similar looking UI to this uh, for the inventory, just so it looks nice and neat. Um, so yeah, I'll try and get that done for the next uh, update, but we'll see how that goes. I also have a really cool feature that I'm kind of holding back for the next update, so be sure to su subscribe so you don't miss out. Um, so this was just a nice, nice quick update, but we covered a lot of ground and I'm excited for the next few steps. Um, so have a great day and evening and I'll see you in the next update where we'll be working on uh, actually getting the stim packs and everything to work. So I'll be working on the buffs um, and hopefully I'll have my new uh, infantry UI in place. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.